Hi there. This year, 2021, Briarfest was virtual again, so all of my purchases were made online, and one of them recently arrived, and since they are surprises, I thought I would open them on camera. I ordered a several, I ordered six actually, of the Briarfest uh, Gachapon capsules. So these are typically found in one of the rooms at Briarfest. And since we didn't have a live Briarfest this year, we could order as many as we liked online. And then they packed them up and shipped them to us. They're all completely random. And this year, what's super fun is they were all medallions by hobby artists. So there's, I think, seven different medallions that you could get. They're all a surprise. So these are the Gachapon capsules for toys, Japanese toys. This is a purple one and each one comes with one medallion and a little card about the different medallions that were in it this year. So this is super cute. This is, looks like maybe Hell Hest by Shauna McDaniel. It's a unicorn, really cute little medallion. And she cast them all this year in different colors with different things inside. So this one has little tiny, it's pink with little tiny unicorns inside. It's super cute. Probably a little hard to see on camera, but it's a unicorn, full body unicorn, and then it's got a bit of design in the background. And it looks like it's got pink with some darker pink in those cute little unicorns. So that one is super cute. And I think she's going to do it again next year. So if you're going to Briarfest, make sure to find the Gachapon room and get some super cute medallions. I think they're all different colors for different artists. So this is a different one because you could obviously get duplicates since they come out at random. This is Smoosh by Brent, and I'm going to just not be able to pronounce anything probably, Brent Ciaran, a North Swedish horse head. And this guy has some little Among Us figurines, so that's pretty sus. But he's super cute. He's made in kind of a pinkish resin, light pink with little sparkles, and then the little Among Us characters. So he is very cute. And this year, many of the artists are donating their uh, fee to a free little free pantry of food. So that's nice that all those benefits are being donated. This is another different color. This is a pink one, so it'll probably be a different medallion. Oh, very nice. This one's pretty big. This is Dazzle by Donna Woolcott. If I remember right, this was inspired by a carousel horse. I don't remember which one in particular he is. Looks like he could be aloof um, with the mane and the very expressive face. He's cast, he's cast in a bit of a lime green um, luminescent resin. And he's, he's pretty big. He's a little bit bigger than the little unicorn medallion. Um, and he's just of this opalescent kind of resin, so he doesn't have any little inclusions. Next we have, oh, purple, so I can't remember. I think this was my first one, so this will probably be a little duplicate of the unicorn, but they're all in different colors, so that's super neat. Yep, this is that unicorn by Shauna McDaniel, and... He's in a kind of a clear plastic with white and black and green stars and sparkles. You can see on the back all the different little black ones. It's a really cute effect. It gives him uh, a lot of dimension. You can't see the sculpture quite as well, but you can definitely see that he's got a lot of dimensionality to his sculpture. So he's pretty cute. And he's my first duplicate, but still in a completely different color. And that's kind of fun. I'm hoping we'll be able to trade some. So this is a different color. This is a yellowish capsule. Ooh, 
and he has a little paper work with him. Ah, this is the one, one of the ones that I really thought was super cute. This is Fushimi Inari by C. Riley, and it's a little fox with a Tori gate, and this one's even cuter. This one has lots of little food uh, inclusions in it, so it's like strawberry and lemon and watermelon and apple. Um, very cute and very much with that sort of cute Japanese theme. And he came with this little, I'm not going to be able to open it, but it looks like a little scroll. I'll need a knife to open it. So this is probably a little scroll talking about the sculpture himself. But he is super cute, super dimensional. You can see the foxes just popping out of the sculpture. And he's kind of a clear resin with those little inclusions. So he's super cute. And my last one of six, will it be a duplicate or something different? Well, it's green, but it's one of the pop capsules. So let's see. Ah, this one is a different one. So this is, ha <laughs> super cute. This is Chicken Surprise by Elena Lem. And it's a horse's head being surprised by a chicken and his hair is kind of standing on end. And uh, he's looking at the chicken and the chicken is looking at him, looks like in surprise. And he's made of kind of a, just a solid color purple plastic. Super cute. Um, kind of a medium size, but you still definitely more than enough size to be able to see the uh, details. So there was seven total. So I got a chicken surprise and a fushimi. Did not get an oishi by Jen Constantine. He's cute. Maybe I can trade for him. Got a smoosh and a dazzle by Donna Wolcott. Oh, didn't get a Nashville by Lauren Wood. The Hell Hess, the Unicorn, and then there's two versions, I believe, of the same horse or the same sculpture. Al Bidaya A or Al Nihaya B by Marja, and I, I'm just not having a good time pronouncing, Marja Herp. I think she's Swedish, but I could be wrong. So there's version A and version B. So one, two, three, four I didn't get. And the one, two, three, four, five that I did. So hopefully we'll be able to trade these. So definitely keep an eye out. She still has some available on the Gachapon homepage if you are interested in getting one. Um, they are super cute, very affordable, and the profits all go to a little free pantry to help people in need. So that's super awesome. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see what my next Briarfest packages will bring me. Thank you.